All right, what's up? I'm Mac Pack. This is Welcome to Wrath Unlimited. Let's crack it open. Sounds like there's a a loose pack in there. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything bad. Uh, some crazy pulls out of the last Arcane Rising booster box we opened. So hopefully we can recreate some of that magic. Moving into our second box of Welcome to Wrath. Seems like the game is growing in popularity even over these last couple of weeks. Ooh. That was uh, my bad here. Can't grab all these packs. What side will be better? Left or right? We'll go down the left first. First pack here. Move through it quickly. I'm looking to get some uh, some nice foil pulls, as I'm sure is obvious out of this product. So the token. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the front. Maybe we can move through quicker if we do that. Focus up. Coming up on the first rare here. Oh, maybe not. Barraging beatdown, classic. Snatch. The foil leg tap. Uh, so it seems like there's um really good single value out of these packs. I mean, I was also getting pretty lucky, but one thing is for certain is that there's chase cards, definitely, and even in the unlimited products that uh, are super high. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I cannot open this stuff. <laughs> so pathetic. Maybe I need to um, actually let my fingernails grow out instead of cutting them real short. Maybe that's the pack opening meta. Seven to the front. Get some focus. Got to be more mindful of that if we're doing autofocus. Hopefully we can pull some rares that we haven't seen before. Some Majestic, Steel Blade Shunt, Last Ditch Effort is our first special. When you play Last Ditch Effort, if you have no cards in your deck, it gains plus four offense and go again. Pretty cool artwork there. And then a, got a leg tap and a head jab. So I'm using a, an overhead light instead of just the sunlight. So I think the foiling's gonna be showing up a bit better, which is, I don't wanna manhandle the packs, but I might have to start. So we have Bravo, Showstopper. I'm thinking that these tokens, the adult heroes, are gonna uh, go up in value a little bit because if you need them to play against other ones, other adult heroes, then, you know, they're necessary to play the game. Even though every pack has a token slot, not every pack has adult heroes. So that's why I'm thinking that seven, I think, I hope. Nope. Savage Feast is the uh, a rare foil, not the best to pull, but not the worst. Focus up here. But yeah, I don't really think that magic has the same amount of 
chase cards. Considering in Flesh and Blood, the especially the Legendaries and the Majestics are pretty valuable consistently, and some are worth hundreds. I know Magic does have cards like that, and so does the other games, but I don't know if it's a result of the state of the game right now. People getting into it and buying the singles. Three, four, five, six, seven. But it seems like if you get lucky out of these products, you're going to be able to do pretty well in the secondhand market. Stonewall Confidence, Record Romper, some cool art there on Awakening Bellow. So the equipment comes, um, the equipment slot is right before the rare slot. Staunch Response, Sigil of Solace, Gain 1 Health. That might not be as much as it's cracked up to be, but I could see it, uh, especially in blue, where you can pitch it for three, or if you need it, you can uh, play it for free. So it seems like a pretty good card. Then without further ado, Stroke of Foresight. Nice foiling there. Uh, let's see. Commons. Did I put this special? Special. Common. Foils. Specials. Rare foils. Rares. I don't know if I'll ever open up a unlimited, I mean a uh, limited product. They're so expensive. Maybe if I can get a pre-order in, I'll do it. So is there no token? Okay, so this must be a crack bobble. I'm learning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what do you guys think of uh, Monarch coming out soon? You guys got your pre-orders in? Drone of Brutality. I heard there's some controversy around that card. And a beautiful nature's path. What other... Uh, I need to stop saying... Uh, I want to kind of have my personality come through these videos a lot more. I've been focusing on, you know, my hands in front of the camera and opening stuff, but I want to start... Oh, we got a Katsu. The elder, the older version. I want to start... Don't want to mess up the count. What I was saying is I want to start getting my, like, personality into the videos a little bit more instead of being so stale with it and kind of monotone and droney. Might get a new mic, I'm just using the camera audio. I don't want to ask for support right now because I think that my overall production quality isn't great. So until I start producing videos that I'm proud of, I'm not going to promote myself too hard. Just kind of getting familiar with the product, with the YouTube platform with, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube, but making it something else. Seismic Surge. So yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out on the look for the so that's the equipment slot. We have overpower Nice, a uh, majestic, ancestral empowerment, target ninja attack action cards gain plus one offense, draw a card, and another foil. Nature's Path Pilgrimage. You have to keep an eye out on how many older heroes we get, because if it's 
kind of rare to get them, then I can see them, you know, not being like super expensive or anything, but being sought after, or at least selling all the time. We've seen all this stuff, so going through it. Steel Blade. Warrior's Valor. Foil equipment might be worth something. Let me know if you guys want me to put the prices up or not. Kind of put those corny sound effects in the last video. I don't know how well received that's going to be. I noticed some other, you know, box openers put sound effects in when they hit a nice pull just to grab people's attentions that are maybe watching the video more passively. I figured if I was doing editing, might as well do the things that I want to try out. I wonder if moving really quickly will affect how. All right, Hope Merchant's Hood. Blackout Kick, Fluster Fist, Foil Blade Strike, it's called Razor Reflex. I noticed that a lot too, just in my fast pacedness to get through the packs when I didn't know about the card orders and the common slots, etc. Was I mispronounced or misread uh, a lot of the cards, which looking back on it was kind of funny. I, I will claim to be a, have great reading capabilities, but I'm better than that. Some words are hard for me to say. Doesn't mean I can't try. Iron Rock Gauntlet, Breakneck Battery, Staunch Response. See that foil? The red looks good. Kind of an underwhelming pack so far, or box. The Ancestral Empowerment is our one. Majestic Pull. We have only one foil rare. And only one special. We're almost halfway through, so let's try to get the pull rate up on the second half. Savage Feast, Snatch, Driving Blade, ooh, kind of got caught on my finger. Hopefully I didn't bend the card. Have you guys been noticing any issues with the printing quality of these cards or the card quality in general. It seems like everything's very centered, very uh, high quality. I haven't noticed anything craft bobble. Any um, bending of the cards? What do they call it? Pringling? Pringling. Sorry, I gotta make sure the camera focuses before I start ripping through the common slots. Rare. Ooh, what's this? Alpha Rampage, our second mythic. Uh, Majestic. And a common demolition crew. Let's see what Alpha Rare do. Uh, Alpha Rampage, I should say. Oh, it's Reinhardt Specialization. You may only have Alpha Rampage in your deck if your hero is Rinar. As an additional cost to play Alpha Rampage, discard the random card. Intimidate. Pop quiz. Flesh and blood rules. What does Intimidate do? It makes the opponent exile a card from their hand, if I'm not mistaken. Or discard it completely. It disrupts their hand in some way or another. So halfway through, well, 
let's get through this and then we'll be halfway through four, five, six, seven to the front. Lucky number seven. Breaking scales. Do we see something cool? Drone brutality. Maybe we can get a place it, sell it to whoever's buying them out. Staunch response. And a rare holographic disable. Two holographic rares, one special, two majestics. The majestics are more rare than the specials, so I'll take that. Now we're on to the second half of the pack, the second half of the box. Hopefully, the left side wasn't the good side. Because this was me medium, I'd say. I think a part of my um, getting better at speaking on camera and stuff won't, is trying not to force it, like not rushing, just being okay with some silence in the video. It's a very relaxing thing for me. So the non-foil disable, second special, reckless swing, and as an additional cost to play, reckless swing, discard a random card, that's the discarded card, that's six or more offense, deal two damage to the attacking hero, it's a defense reaction. And our favorite, Foil Slogism, blue, into the specials. Quicken. Romping Club, three, four, five, six, seven. Focus, camera, good. I feel like whenever I make a video, I, I kind of get a sore throat. Warrior's Valor. Ooh, two specials in a row. Cranial Crush. Crush. If Cranial Crush deals four or more damage to a hero, they can't draw cards during their next action phase. Well, that seems good. I don't know the value of these cards until I look them up after, but I would guess that is... And I've never actually played a game of Flesh and Blood in person. I don't know if there's any other way to play it, but just... Reading the card and being familiar with other game card game you know, power levels and stuff. That card seems good. I mean, it costs six, so <laughs> I didn't really consider that. Pretty expensive. But it has eight offense and a good effect. We'll see. A foil common. I want a big, I mean, <laughs> obviously everyone wants a big foil hit, but Maybe one of the not common rares, because it seems like some rares are way easier to pull than others. And as we're moving through, I believe we've only gotten two tokens that are um, old heroes. So just having my hands on this product and going through it and knowing that they have the token slot in every pack because the tokens are necessary to play the game, yet getting the older versions of the heroes isn't something that's common, despite the fact that there's always tokens. There's the third drone brutality, you know what I'm saying? About that. Common, unmovable, who foiling. Nice. What do you guys think about that? I know my uh, channel's really, really new, Dawnblade. It'll be cool to get my first comment for a subscriber. Start interacting with the community a little bit. Oh, 
That's a rare that we haven't seen before. Potion of Strength, action, destroy Potion of Strength. Your next attack this turn gains plus two offense. And it also goes again, and you can pay it, you can play it for free. Seems good. Overpower. Let's let's do the let's do the peak. The the sneak peek. Oh, foil rare. What is it? Warrior's Valor. That looks dope. It looks like a ghost rare from Yu-Gi-Oh! You guys know that? Kind of foiling style. I don't think it's any different just how the artwork looks, but that looks sick. Nice. Big stack of rares here. The double rares are pretty cool. The double rare slot. I do like that. Can we get the older version? No. Five, six, seven. I think I'm onto something when I say that those older tokens are gonna be uh, hot cake-ish. Crazy Brew, Flick Black. So our third special, rare, common. It's hard to say which side has been better. We still have a couple packs left over here. I finally get the older Rish, Rin, Rinhar. A bunch of blackout kicks. Fluster fist. Ooh, nice. The first foil special, I believe. Stan sand sketched plan. That looks awesome, huh? How the artwork and the border just meshes so well together and then the foiling in the middle of it. Oh, a Rinhar specialization. You may play this if you only have, if you have him as your hero. Search your deck for a card, put it into your hand. Discard the card at random, then shuffle your deck. If the discarded card has six or more power, gain two action points. That's funny, I like the flavor. You know, having some battle plan, but it's sketched in the sand, so it can easily just be destroyed by a gust of wind or an unlucky footstep. So you get the card into your hand, but then you could equally as easily just discard it because you're discarding at random. But the upside is if you're playing uh, Brutes, usually you have a lot of um, six or more offense, so you'll usually get the plus side of that. Where do these go? I'll put them in the rare. The rare foil slot in my own pile collection. So can we get the Dorinthia? What's her? moniker. So we have Katsu, Rinhar, and then the Guardian? Oh yeah, Bravo. Big boy Bravo. I wonder if the uh, equipment slot has any good pulls. Blessing of Deliverance, Feasting Fest, and Pack Hunt. Even They even foil this little um, text dividing line, if you can see that, which gives it a nice glint as well. Some additional foiling never hurts. Last four packs here. I think we're doing, I would say, pretty standard what you would expect to pull. Clicking in the Kadachi. Maybe with some haste we can get some good pulls. Snatch. Energy potion. Regurgitating slog. Not the best. Maybe energy potion's a pretty good staple. Uh, 
possibly. Flick Flack, we know that. Sigillosaurus, Flick Flack, okay. Now you're just trolling me, game. Dang, that's not what we want to see in foil as a rare. Two more packs here. Give me your energy, send your vibes. May the flesh and blood gods look gracefully upon this pack opening. This is what we need. We need crushing confidence that this will be a bomb. Come on, it all starts with the helm of Eisen Peak. What does it cover up? What is under the mask? Time stamp potion. Destroy time stamp. Gain two action points. Overpower. All right. This kind of worked last time, did it not? Oh, common. Wounding blow. All right, maybe some last pack magic. Some last pack look. The LPL. Oh, we got the door into the iron song, so that's already pretty good. Um, is that one of each? We'll go back through, and on the other side, the hammer. Savage Feast, beat down, two pretty standard rares, and nothing. Primeval Bellow, it's the foil uncommon. I'm gonna cut it here and do a little recap. So some of the cool rares that we got, Potion of Strength, and Time Snap Potion. Everything else was something I've seen before, or had a lot of. As for the token slot, we got a playset or one of each. So the first time I opened Welcome to Wrath, I didn't get one of each. Then in Arcane Rising, I got one of each, and now I got one of each of the older heroes. So if there's one of each in a box and you know you want Katsu, then opening an individual pack for this guy is going to be pretty hard. And if you need these to play in the older format, then it seems like they're going to be pretty easily, easily sellable. And then some of the cool foils we got. Driving Blade looks good. Emerging Power. And Stroke of Foresight. Those are some cool looking commons I thought I'd just showcase. As for our special slot, Crazy Brew. Seen that before, kind of a meme card. They have a promo of it. Cranial Crush. Not sure what to think of this one. Reckless Swing. Pretty good. That's a defense action. And Last Ditch Effort. I don't know how applicable having no cards in your deck is, so not sure when this will be good, if ever. Then for the rare slot. We got pretty some pretty standard stuff that I wish wasn't there, but Warrior's Valor is nice, very nice pull, just for the sake of how cool it looks, really. And then our biggest pull in terms of holographics is this Sand Sketch plan, special foil, a bone. And then disable is, I guess, kind of whatever. For our majestic slots, we have two of them Ancestral Empowerment and Alpha Rampage. So, hopefully, you guys learned something and you like this video. Maybe give me a thumbs up, 
I'll keep making some more content for you regardless, so I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.